Hello everybody and welcome back to another Elevator Parts video. On this week's video, we're taking a look and wiring CJ Anderson HHR fixtures. Let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started with the wiring, let's take a closer look at the fixture, see how it works, and see all the pieces that make it up. So here we have the actual button itself, has this kind of neat little arrow design on it, kind of more of a rounded style of arrow. Definitely think it looks pretty cool. One of the cooler arrow styles I've seen. Plate itself is in pretty decent shape. There's a little bit of paint splattered on it. There is this kind of three mark engraved in here, but we can get rid of some of this paint, like this paint up here and the splatter, all over the fixture, just make it look a little bit nicer and then shine it up a bit in the end. So on the back side of the fixture, we have this kind of very interesting dark blue purple kind of color. The buttons themselves have these little covers around them and I'll show you what those are for later on. So we've got the little wires for the lamp sockets on the back here. So let's go ahead and break this thing down and see how it works. So the first thing we can do is remove these little lamp sockets. And if we look closely, you can see they're just being clipped on the side right here. So they're pretty easy to remove. Once you've pulled off your lamp sockets, you can see the bulb inside. Now I've already put little incandescent bulbs in here. And the low voltage bulbs that I've been using are these GE1847s. One other thing to note is the positive ends of these lamp sockets are connected together with this wire here. So a little bit of work has already been done for us. So once you remove the lamp sockets, it's pretty easy to remove these little covers. And just looking at the covers, I'm not really, it's just like this little thin piece of almost like paper kind of stuff, but it's thicker than paper. Now these kind of cover the buttons up so that the light stays within the little area here. It doesn't really get out. I think that's kind of a neat little feature, especially for my pace when I have it up against the wall. When you press the button, it lights up the button and not the wall. So now for the buttons themselves, if we take a look here, we can see more of the inner workings of these buttons. And it's actually quite simple. There is just one single contact that goes across. And when you press in on the button, it simply presses those two pieces down, connecting these two terminals here. So let's go ahead and further take this button apart. So taking a closer look at the base itself, we can get a better idea of how this works. So on the back here, we have our two connectors where we can hook up wires to our contact. We've got the spot here. This is what holds the light down. So the contacts themselves are right here and you just simply press them down and they make contact with that little piece down there. It's a very simple yet effective design and it works pretty well. Let's take a look at the arrow piece. So these little curves here keep it from turning. And then on the back, you can see that's where the bulb would go in to light up the button, just like that. So I'm also gonna take off the other button and then we're gonna do a little bit of restoration on the plates. So before I do any work to this, I'm just gonna show you the current state it's in. So you can see there's a lot of fingerprints, there's some paint splattered all over. Obviously this engraved three is gonna have to stay but I'm gonna do some work on this and let's see what it looks like when I'm done. So the buttons and the plate are nice and cleaned up. Looks a whole lot better than it did. Now let's go ahead and flip it over and I'm gonna show you how to wire it. So in this example, we are going to be using a nine volt system. So we're gonna be using a nine volt battery. So our two bulbs, like I said before, are GE 1847s, which run off of nine volts. So the first thing you'll want to do is get your bulbs in place and then we're going to sort out our wires with our little lamp sockets here. So this fixture already has the two positives connected together with a single wire coming out here. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna follow this and do that same thing. Of course, you're going to need to get a nine volt battery clip. So what you wanna do is take your red wire from the clip and connect it to the two white connectors. So since we have this little extra kind of unnecessary wire here, I'm actually gonna take it off. And now I have two exposed wires here. We are going to connect all of our positive sides together to our battery pack. So we have our two white wires from our lamp socket. We're going to get our nine volt battery clip, take the red wire, and then I'm just gonna connect all these together with just a small wire nut. So now we've got our positives connected together, we want to wire up the negatives. So there's a negative on each lamp socket. Connect the negative wire from each lamp socket to one side of your switch on both buttons. And it should look something like this. So now we have just this negative wire to work with. Take this negative wire along with an extra wire, connect the other side of our switch together. And when you're done, it should look something kind of like this. So pretty much what we have going on here, we have the positive end of our battery pack connected together to the two positive parts of our lamp sockets. Then from each lamp socket, the negative wire goes down to one side of our button. Then the other side of the button, we complete the whole circuit by connecting the negative end of our battery pack to both sides of this. So when you press this button down, it completes this circuit, lighting up this light. When you press down this button, it completes this circuit, lighting up this light. And look at this old battery, it's a Radio Shack battery. So let's give it a test. I've turned the light off so we can see them a little bit better because these don't light up super bright. 
but you can see when you press down on the buttons, they light up and it looks pretty nice. All right, so that is pretty much it for this project. It's a fairly simple wire, nothing too complicated. This is one of the easier fixtures to work with. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit more about these CJ Anderson HHR fixtures. They're definitely pretty interesting and they look pretty cool. And thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.